Hi everyone and welcome back to A Better Biomed. I've got another video for you on sensors and medical equipment. Today, we're going to cover the ultrasonic sensor, also called the ultrasonic bubble detect sensor. Ultrasonic sensors are found in most medical devices that handle liquids, especially devices that handle patient infused liquids. These sensors tell the internal computer when the fluid starts, when it stops, or when there's an anomaly, like an air bubble that's traveling up the hose. Inside the flow sensor, there's a crystal which sends out a piezoelectric wave. The wave will continue across a gap to a detector as long as there's a medium, like a liquid, that's present to continue conducting that wave and transmit the signal across the gap. In the absence of that medium, the signal stops and the integrated computer will register the event. Ultrasonic sensors can be used to detect air bubbles traveling up infusion lines to a patient, but they can also detect when consumables like infused products are empty, when medical providers load new infusion sets, detecting when irrigation pumps run out of irrigation fluid so the patient's tissue doesn't get burned and the patient gets injured. They even are used to detect when fluid levels are getting low in some fluid heaters. Ultrasonic sensors have one more special purpose in medical equipment. They can be used to detect flow rates. That's right guys, ultrasonic sensors can detect flow rates of liquids. Using the Doppler effect where the sound waves traveling in the direction of movement move faster than the waves moving away from the direction of movement, a computer can calculate how much fluid is moving through a tube. Inside these sensors, two or four ultrasonic transmitters and receivers are positioned to transmit diagonally in opposite directions across a fluid to be measured. For an example, let's say a really, really slow flow sensor transmits a signal across a fluid that's not moving. A piezoelectric chirp takes one second to travel to the detector for both sensors. As the liquid flows, the sensor angled with the direction of flow now transmits and receives in 0.8 of a second, while the sensor angled against the flow now takes 1.2 seconds. As the flow speeds up, the time it takes for the chirp to travel with the flow will proportionately decrease, while the chirp traveling against the flow will proportionately increase in time to be detected. These types of flow sensors can be found on some dialysis units, rapid infusers, ECMO pumps, and heart-lung machines. Ultrasonic sensors are often discrete and integrated into a medical device or encased within a metal clamp. Their largest advantage is the ability to function non-invasive to the liquid that's being monitored. This maintains sterility. And having no mechanical moving parts, they offer a long, reliable service life. I hope you learned something about ultrasonic sensors. I know I did while I was making this video. If you like these kinds of videos, please send me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and remember to click that bell down below so you won't miss any of my videos on medical technology. Thanks for watching.